Graduating high school is a milestone in any student's life, and this past weekend, a lot of city schools celebrated that rite of passage. However, there's still concern about what's next for many of those students. Statewide, only 41% of black and Latino men graduate from high school. Only 13% return for their second year of college and graduate. News 8's Jason Frazier has more on why and how local colleges are trying to help. It's a troubling statistic. Half of Rochester high school students don't graduate on time. Many of our kids are graduating our high schools and not ready for what comes after. Superintendent John Claude Brizard admits the district isn't preparing its students for college. Part of the problem? Poverty. Kids who are often sick who don't have access to good health care tend to come to school distracted. In response, the city school district is slowly changing its curriculum. Next year, eight schools will be phased out. They'll be replaced with college prep schools like this one at Northwest and the soon to be launched, the Early College International High School. When kids graduate high school in four years, they will be finishing with 20 college credits. And while the city school district revamps its curriculum, local colleges are doing their part to make sure their current and future students will make the grade. We probably averaged about 25 students from the Rochester City Schools enrolling as freshmen here every year and uh, this coming year we'll have about 40. RIT recently agreed to cover tuition for any admitted city school district graduate. Meantime, the University of Rochester is helping students affected by poverty through its HEOP program. The school receives nearly a half a million dollars of state aid to ensure students are prepared for college. U of R says it's money well spent. These are students that are technically the most at-risk students that we take given their you know, financial situation and their academic profile, and they're graduating at a rate higher than our overall rate. Meantime, Brizard says he's starting to see some success with students being prepared for college. At Northeast and Northwest Preparatory High Schools, nearly all of the students graduating this year were admitted to at least one college. But he says it's too soon to celebrate. Once you provide the access, you got to make sure they're well prepared academically to succeed. Otherwise, it's really meaningless. In Rochester, Jason Frazier, News A. 90% of students who go through U of R's HEOP program graduate. In the meantime, RIT is hoping to double the amount of students in its partnership with the city school district in the next three years.